take it. Two legends in basketball analysis with over 70 years combined experience. This is the Bob Ryan and Jeff Goodman podcast. NBA. Bob Ryan and Gary Tanglet podcast here on CLNS Media is brought to you by Prize Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of the CLNS Media Network. Pick more, pick less with Prize Picks. Okay, Bob, here we go. I can't wait for this season to start. I really, I, I really want to have some games to talk about, but we are in preview mode and the NBA put out their power rankings. As expected in the Eastern Conference, no surprise with the top three. With the Celtics, the Knicks, number two, uh, Philadelphia, because of the changes with the Knicks, we can understand that. But they got the Pacers ranked number four. They actually have the Pacers ahead of the Milwaukee Bucks. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about those two teams because, you know, and what you expect from them and what questions they have to answer. First, let's start with Indiana. I am bullish on them. Uh, Yes, Uh, I, I, I can see this happening uh, if, if all goes well. Um, first of all, Halliburton, he tailed off a bit. Right. He started off great. Got hurt. And, and that's really, yeah. But he's going to have a, he didn't, he was, he was the one really snubbed in the Olympics. If, you know, if you want to use right. that verb, in the heat. But if you want to look, if you want to go down that road, you can, and, and it, it, he was the one who got, you know, dis, dissed the most, more than Tatum. Okay. He's going to be motivated. There's no question, and he is a talent, very, very talented player. Uh, but they've got a, 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 he's got a good backcourt mate in uh, uh, Andrew Nemhart, and by the way, and he's he's, he's getting better and better. Uh, they got a very underrated guy in, in Miles Turner. I, I needed time to get appreciate that what he brings to the table, and they, and the guy that you know should be bucking for an All Star birth, birth for them is Pascal Siakam. He's at the peak of his career. Uh, he, he, he's a good player. And, and that's, you know, they got this kid, Benedict Mathurin, who was hurt last year, but had a very, had a nice year the year before. They got Obi Toppin, and they just re-signed one of the most valuable utility players in the NBA, DJ McConnell. Right. He is, he is, if, if you, you know, he, he is what he is. He's a third guard, but he's a good one. He knows who he is. Uh, I, I, I always pay great respect to, uh, for him. When they, when they play them, I think it's a good roster, and I think they're 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 solid. They're very solid, you know. They're not flashy, but they're very solid. I think, that, and 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 they have a guy who's a you know borderline superstar, if you will, in Halliburton. Um, and so I think them, and I think that as opposed to Milwaukee, I just think people are wondering if the door hasn't kind of closed, right? Uh, in, in a sense, you know, with them, um, and you always worry about Giannis's health. Obviously, when Giannis is healthy, he he's He's phenomenal. He's, 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 a, he's one of the most interesting players ever. And um, but Middleton gets hurt. Uh, you know, I, I I think that people and Brook Lopez is still important. But he's be thirty seven this year, I think. By the way, he's had. A, I, I want to pay something. He, I wouldn't have been at all. In fact, I would have advocated. I did that. He was on the Olympic team because we needed a real a legitimate big man. He, he's he's a he's got he's not going to the Hall of Fame, but he's one of those. Uh, Hall of pretty good guys for career. Oh yeah, I mean, look when he was with the Nets, and of course his his reinvention is the story is is the model for all the big men in the world. Literally, uh, that if you want to be a modern NBA player and be a five, you better be able to face up the basket as well, or even more than you have it. You're back to it. Right. And um, here's a guy that for the first X years of his career, seldom he probably didn't take double digit attempts and threes. First five or six years of his career, and now he's a dangerous three-point shooter. He's absolutely made himself into a, a very legitimate shooter, and, and and he's also a rim protector that you don't really realize what he is. So anyway, I, I like him, but uh, uh, he is getting up there. So I, I just think Milwaukee's depth is questionable as well. Well, you you made you raised the point about the depth because with Lillard and and the freak. Oh, I Kupo. forgot I knew I forgot an important component. Right. But no, yeah, but with Lillard and when Lillard and Antetokounmpo are off the floor, they're done. You know, yeah. that's where you look at what Brad Stevens has done with the Celtics yeah. and you go, that's the deal, the depth. You know, yeah. Brown and Tatum are off the floor for what I mean, obviously they're not as good, but there's some real depth there. I mean, Milwaukee's a two-man team, especially <laughs> if Middleton's not healthy. Right. And where, where where's their house and where's their picture? where's their right. Uh, Al Horford, you know. We, yeah, where's their white? Where you know? Oh, yeah. oh, you're right. Uh, that's that's why 
I can see that. I and I'm I am bullish on Indiana, and uh, you know, I'm, so. Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app. They've got over 5 million active members. Look, it is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Now, unlike all the other apps, Prize Picks, it's just you against the numbers. That's it. Now, you can win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks with as little as four correct picks. And one Caleb Williams passing yard gets you one win on prize picks every week in September. That's right. Only one yard gets you an automatic win every football weekend in September. Four weeks of free W's. Don't miss this deal on prize picks because it's gone when September ends. Now, here's an example of a player projection lineup. You could be going Tyreek Hill for more than 90 receiving yards or Dak Prescott for more than 263 passing yards. On the other end, Josh Allen for less than 240 passing yards and CeeDee Lamb for more than 96 receiving yards. You like those picks? So download the Price Picks app today and use code CLNS and get $50 instantly when you play five bucks. That's code CLNS on Price Picks to get $50 instantly when you play five dollars. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Price picks. Run your game. What about Cleveland at all? I mean, it, I they've kind of fizzled a little bit. I thought they would, I don't expect them to, you know, be in the top three, but I, I thought they would cause more problems. Yeah, I agree. But I think, yeah, there was, two years ago, you would have really tried to. We were high on them. It just still comes down to, uh, the New York and Philly thing, you know, and really, right, uh, right, 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 right. And, no, you're right. Again, I'm going to say it for a thousand times. I'm so happy to have the rivalries back. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now it's, we look at the West, and the West and the NBA power rankings. They have OKC, which did not do well in the playoffs, but they have them ranked number one. And then Denver, and then you have Dallas, and then um, you have Minnesota. To me, Bob, Phoenix is number five, but we know that's kind of the senior yeah. citizen home. Uh, of the top four in the West, I mean, they're all the same to me. I mean, maybe Dallas. I mean, Dallas has to be healthy. But you take those top four teams, I mean, you could put them in a slot to me. could. I mean, Minnesota's got a lot to offer. They all have something to offer. Yeah, they uh, could all be number one. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it happened to be Dallas that, that came through last year, but the, and, and there's going to be an expectation on them. And, you know, the history will – history as a guy – don't get carried away if you're a Dallas fan to think that this means you're coming right back. Yeah. It's just not the way it works in any sport. And it, it, it doesn't, especially when you have such a, as we both agree, such parity in the West at, at a, not an ultra high level, but at a, a pretty high competitive level. Those are, those teams are. are I'm glad are, you are, said that, Bob. I'm glad you said parity, you know, because you're right, but it's not great. Look, I'll break, you know, obviously we saw what the players have with OKC and Denver is a two-man team. We know that. Um, And you take a look at the Mavericks were a two-man team, maybe one and a half during the finals. And then you go to the Timberwolves and there was a lot of expectation played on them. And when you really take a look at those rosters, they don't, they've got highlights. You know what I mean? They got highlights. They don't blow anybody out of the water. They don't scare you. You know, you're absolutely in, in, in totality. No, um, they, they don't. They, they're, they're good teams, and, and one of them is going to be playing in the finals. That's all we know. Right. Now, to me, right now, the intriguing team beyond them is the Lakers. Right. And, and, and because, you know, LeBron uh, is going to be 40 on the 30th of December. We know that. But he's <laughs> 40 going on, you know, what, 33 maybe the way he's yeah, been playing. Yeah, I mean, he's just a and, um it's Anthony Davis, as he proved in the Olympics, is is a terrific player. We, you know, he I, I, he was the indispensable man, in my opinion, on the floor for them uh, overall. Uh, they had to have him out there, both ends of the floor. Stay healthy. If he can stay healthy, he's thirty one now, um, and and he's never been consistently healthy. But boy, is he good! Don't don't ever underestimate how good he is. Um, their big uh, an X factor guy that could uh, is uh, D'Angelo Russell. You know he has this, he he can score twenty points easy and uh, um, and I've added some other shooting and uh, you know uh, Hachimura can shoot and uh, uh, and and 
I know this. I'm, I'm thinking of a young player, Christie. So, but they 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 could be better than people think. But then again, it's all precarious when you're depending on a forty, a soon to be forty year old, right. and, and a relentlessly uh, unhealthy, you know, Anthony star. Day. Right. But if it, if they could get lucky in that regard, and get healthy. I mean, look, if Davis they're, is they're, healthy, if Davis is healthy with, through the playoffs, we got they can we, play with anybody out there in that regard. Right. We got something. No, it's a, it's a it's been a big hit. But so I would just say, hey, let's see how it goes. Keep your eye on the Lakers. Don't discount the Lakers. Right. Let's be, in the, in the mix there. You know, I've had the chance to see the Patriots win the big game five times. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like being there live, right? And Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite team play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. When you go to the Game Time app, Look for the super deal, but you got to go to the app. You got to look for it. Check out the super deal. You won't regret it. With the Game Time app, curated deals make it easier to find the best price on great seats. Don't forget, look for the super deal. See views before you buy. You check out the view before you buy it. How's better? That's nothing better than that. It's like test driving the ticket. Curation makes it easier to save more on sports, concerts, comedy, theater, and a whole lot more. Toggling this feature shows the total up front with no surprise fees at checkout. And as I mentioned, you get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy it. Take the guesswork out of buying concert tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Okay, I love going back in the time machine with Bob Ryan because when I fell in love with the NBA, uh, just up the road from where you are right now, you know, I, I, 1974 was the first year I, I remember uh, mm -hmm. in, you know, the Celtics won the title that year, and I remember in detail. And I remember watching on Sunday afternoons, you know, and Dick Mata was either coaching the Chicago Bulls or he was coaching in Washington, and he was just one of those guys that was just always around. He's 93 years old. Bob, when you told me that Dick Mata is not in the Hall of Fame, I was shocked. Dick Mata, I, I, it's a it's a very uh, unfortunate oversight, and he's ninety three years old now, and he, you know, it better get done. Uh, I, I'll, now, the, the first thing somebody will say, well, he wasn't even five hundred. He wasn't. I didn't. I just double checked it. He didn't. He wasn't five hundred as, as a winner, as a coach. He, he lost more games than he won. Part of that was at the end of his career. He's Sacramento. He, right. he went a little too long. Right. He yeah, I mean, Washington, I mean, he play, He coached very good teams in the 70s. But, you know, and then, of course, when he, when you, he was the inaugural coach of the Mavericks, which means you're going to have two or three big right. loss years to start right off the bat. Right. Well, guess what? That's what he had. But and, and he turned them around, uh, you know, gradually, and they became, uh, with him, a very good a, a good team. Dick Mata is one of the most interesting guys. He's the guy. He truly coached at every level. He coached in high school in Utah. He's from Utah. And uh, he coached at, 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 at high school. He coached junior college. He coached Weaver State for eight years, and he was identified as and, and was hired to coach the Bulls by uh, Jerry Krause, uh, I believe, was in, in charge at that time. And uh, but he was hired by the Bulls at an age when it was all very much in vogue to, call, to hire college coaches. There was a, 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 a it all began with Butch Van Bradekoff going from Princeton right. to the Lakers, but then. Oh, the uh, the Cotton Fitzsimmons came in and Dick, uh, Bill Fitch came in and uh, uh, I'm thinking of some others um, that came in that, that uh, were college coaches. He was one of them. His Bulls teams in the early 70s were the most, I was kidding, if there weren't a 24 second clock, they would have won a couple of championships. <laughs> no team milked it better. They, they, they were a defensive oriented team with a very precise offense. And that, that, that starting five of a Borwinkle, Chet Walker, Bob Love, Norm Van Leer, and Jerry Sloan was a damn good team. The one problem is they couldn't get by the Lakers or the Bucks. They were stuck in them, West in them with them. But they were they, they were fun, fascinating. And every time when, when when you played them, when the Celtics played them, who want to run and the Bulls don't want you to run, it was a matter of whose will was going to be imposed on the other. And they were fascinating games. Uh, and, but they were, and it was fun to go to the Chicago Stadium, and uh, it was really good stuff. Mata was a 
uh, a, a, you know, a very interesting man, a very fascinating guy, uh, very much a man of the West, very much, uh, you know, um, uh, loyal to, to, the, to the small schools and everything that the background that he came from. Um, he was, uh, he, he was just, those teams were a, a, a grind to play. He, he, he made them into a, uh, it was a tooth pull to play them. They were really good. And then he goes to Washington and they win. And, and he gets in, the, they, and they win one and they get to the finals the second year. Uh, and that's when he went to the Mavericks and, and, and got them off the ground. But I think he was a... Uh, well, when you look at the NBA Hall of Fame, Bob, and we can have discussions about each of the Hall of Fames. I mean, when you take a look at the Pro Football Hall of Fame and, you, you know, you go, it's not that hard to get in. The NBA Hall of Fame, while I am a huge fan and I adore it and I appreciate the fact that you and a number of your colleagues are contributors in the Hall, it's not like the NBA Hall of Fame is that hard to get into. So, like, damn it, I would if you can't put Dick Mata in, what the hell? No, it's just, it never comes up. I mean, I, I, sometimes I feel like I'm the last one who remembers him or something. It just... It, yeah, I don't get it, because I remember when he won the title. It, I mean, that uh, was... I mean, if you, win a, if you coach in the NBA and you win an NBA title... I don't see how you don't get in the NBA Hall of Fame. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, no, I don't get he, it. He, it, it, well, the he a, basketball Hall of Fame. Yeah, he had a good long run. He was terrific. But I, 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 I just feel bad about it and, uh, because I just think he was special uh, in his own way, very much so. Uh, he was a fun guy to, to talk to, fun guy to hang out with, uh, you know, and uh, it, it, was, it was some, but I, I just, you know, would hope something could happen while he's around and he's still around he's 93 but uh, but i can't stress how unusually how, how specific that those bulls teams were how much uh, how interesting it was every night it, it, uh, it was on. and by the way sloan and dan lear i continue to insist the toughest backcourt in i've ever seen in the nba the two of them together and, and jerry sloan was fascinating because he did both he was one a master flopper and a guy willing to stand in front of a Mack truck. He'd do both. You couldn't win with him because he would take the charge. Oh, yeah. He would take the charge better than anybody. You didn't know which one you were going to get. <laughs> no, Sloan was great. One of the great characters in the league. All right, Bob, um, go for a swim in the lake behind you. Uh, <laughs> brought, Bob Ryan, Gary Tangway, brought to you by Prize Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of the CLNS Media Network. Pick more, pick less with Prize Picks. Special thanks to the Dan Smith Studios for helping us out today. Bob, we'll talk to you next week. Very good, Ken. Okay.